Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey. I'm here with a brand new video series showing the do's and don'ts of your college career. I actually just graduated from college and have had some time to think about some things that I wish I would have done and some things I wish I would have done differently. If you're about to go off to college or even if you already are in college, I hope you know to give you some advice to make these next four years of your college career the best four years they can be. Moving off to college and becoming a part of this brand new, huge community can be really scary. There's lots of new people coming from different backgrounds with different life experiences and different opinions slash views. It can be very overwhelming the first couple months and it can still be crazy even after that. One of the biggest college do's is get involved as much as you can. Like I said, it might be overwhelming at first and you might be a little nervous about you know, putting yourself out there, but if you do it early and do it in a friendly way, it can really help you in the long run. One of the first things that helped me get over my nervousness about college was the idea and the knowledge that every single other person was going through the exact same thing when first getting to school. And what did I want? I wanted someone to be super friendly, nice, and easy to talk to to become friends with. And why not be the person who puts themselves out there, gains a lot of friends while doing it, and then also making a ton of people feel comfortable? It's a win-win! Another thing to do to get involved is look for clubs, organizations, and jobs in categories and topics that interest you. Whether it's a club about your major slash specialty, or even if it's just a hobby, your college will have awesome groups that bring together Together people with the same interests. Obviously, if you all like some of the same things and if you share some of the same interests, bam! That's how friends are made. You hear it all the time that professors can help you and you should always go to their office hours for help, but people rarely do. But professors are the ones who are actually educated and connected in your major and the professional world. And a lot of the times, they're the ones who refer you to jobs, paid studies, and other great opportunities on campus. And you know what having a job means. Those were literally just ones and fives. There might have been a 20 in there too. So your main goal in college is to graduate, get a degree that helps you find a job that you enjoy, that pays you enough to be able to survive in this world. And you'll know people who literally just do the bare minimum to get by. By maybe going to class, maybe doing some studying, and literally just scraping by on exams. These are some of the people that don't always find a job after college. Putting yourself out there, meeting new people, and getting well connected in your college community is very important and it can actually have a huge impact on your future career and life after college. I met so many great professors and friends in all of my school activities that really did help me learn more and really become the best I could be at what I wanted to do. And with that job you get and all that money you'll be making, you want a sweet dorm room with a bunch of sweet dorm stuff. So you should definitely go over and check out dormco.com to find awesome stuff for your dorm room. They have a ton of dorm room supplies for super cheap but awesome quality. Check out the links below and shipping is only $2.95 for all orders. If you have any questions about getting involved in college or just dorm rooms in general, leave a comment below and we'll be sure to answer. Thanks for watching and I hope this video did help a little bit with what to expect when you make that big transition to college.